Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The subject of this video really is one of the most interesting and mysterious topics I've ever covered, and many of you will never have heard of it. It's all thanks to the ARCS Research Association, which was formed in 2020 by founder Marco M. Vigato and co-founders Ludovic Sell and Alexander Tokars, who are leading the charge to find answers about San Miguel Ixtapan, an archaeological site in the southern part of the state of Mexico, and I'll tell you how you can help them later in this video. Over the past century, Dozens of carved megalithic stone slabs of unknown origin and function have been discovered. Excavations first began in 1995, and a number of impressive Mesoamerican structures have been uncovered, including a large pyramid, a ball court and a monumental stairway built of huge blocks of basalt. On one side of the main pyramid, a mysterious sealed chamber was also discovered, which had been ritually buried under 2 metres or 6 feet of plaster and stucco. Inside the chamber were two megalithic slabs, both of which were covered with intricate geometric patterns, as well as several idols in a peculiar cross-armed pose. Decades before, in 1959, American anthropologist Charles R. Wick described numerous other megalithic slabs from other nearby sites, and he remarked on their similarities to ancient South American artistic and architectural styles. Looking at these pictures, and you can't help but see clear similarities to Tiwanaku in Bolivia. Accompanied by archaeologist Victor Azorio Agario, the ARCS research team have made several visits to the site, including a recent visit in May 2021, and they've identified and documented at least a dozen similar megalithic slabs. Still, their age, function and provenance are completely unknown. Are they ornamental panels, altar stones or something else? We don't know which civilization or culture was responsible for the incredible work, and the entire site really is a complete mystery. The area is believed to contain as many as 200 still unexplored archaeological sites, thought to be more than 1,000 years old, the work of an unknown yet clearly important lost civilization of Mesoamerica. The megalithic panels are made of hard andesite and basalt, which makes the precision stonework and decoration incredibly difficult to achieve. And again, at present there are no answers. As stated, the decorated slabs of hard igneous rock are eerily similar to those found in Tiwanaku in Bolivia, which makes you wonder if the people responsible had their origins in the Andean region of South America, which is located thousands of miles away. This type of stonework is entirely unknown in ancient Mexico, and the site is therefore extremely important. We see inverted T-shapes cut into the slabs, and, as you can see, the decoration has fine precision. The size of the blocks varies from 1.26 meters or 4.1 feet to 1.6 meters or 5.3 feet. Another incredible discovery at San Miguel Ixtapan is something known as the Maqueta Stone, an enormous scale model of what appears to be a large pre-Hispanic city or ceremonial center, containing ball courts, pyramids, sunken plazas, stairways and platforms. This model, which is carved onto a huge basalt boulder, was found in 1985, but the city portrayed on the rock still remains a mystery. It implies there is a lost city or civilization in this region, and that's the mystery the ARCS Research Association is trying to unravel. Sadly, over the years, the site has been looted and vandalized, and the ARCS Research Association are the only team working to help document and preserve the site, and they're working in collaboration with local archaeologists and experts. For example, this decorated slab of basalt that was photographed in 1959 has since gone missing. 
In May 2021, the ARCS research team, together with the director of the archaeological site of San Miguel Ixtapan, located fragments of the slab situated inside a ranch and located a number of kilometres away, broken up in recent years by treasure hunters. The ARCS Research Association plan to fully document every stone slab in the region and help support the safe removal of the most endangered examples, including the fragments just mentioned, to the local museum of San Miguel Ixtapan, where they can be studied, preserved and displayed to the public. For what it's worth, I can personally vouch for both Marco Vigato and Ludovic Sell being genuinely decent, honourable people who are looking to document and preserve this site. Both are friends of the Ancient Architects channel and I speak to Ludovic almost daily. He's helped me many times with my research and a number of the subjects covered on this channel have come directly from Ludovic. But to make their planned work a reality, they do need our help and have set up a crowdfunding campaign. If you want to play a small but important part in this very exciting project, you can donate at donadora.org and I've left a link in the description below. I know Marco and Ludovic will be very grateful to anyone that supports them and I'll happily update you on their progress. There is a new article with more detail that's written by Marco on ancientorigins.net, which I've also linked below. But to end this video, I'll hand you over to Marco so he can go into more detail and explain why supporting this project is so important to our understanding of ancient Mesoamerica. Hello, I'm Marco Vigato, President and Founder of the ARCS Association for Archaeological Research and Exploration. We need your help to load the rescue in partnership with the Mexican National Institute of History and Anthropology and the Secretary of Culture of the State of Mexico of some unique archaeological artifacts near the town of San Miguel Ixtapan, Tecupilco. These artifacts may hold vital clues to the question of the origins of Mesoamerican civilization, but are now under immediate threat of destruction and looting. San Miguel Ixtapan is located in the southern part of the State of Mexico in an area believed to contain as many as 200 still unexplored archaeological sites. Over a thousand years ago, an unknown civilization built here great ceremonial centers with stone pyramids, large plazas and temples to their gods. This civilization developed an artistic tradition unique in Mesoamerica that many believe could have had its origins in the Andean region of South America, thousands of miles away. Among its most striking artistic expressions are some huge monolithic stone slabs carved with intricate geometric designs of a type entirely unknown in ancient Mexico. Since 1959, various authors have been questioning the origin of these mysterious stone slabs without reaching a solution to the enigma. Since then, at least 20 similar slabs have been found in the area around San Miguel Ixtapan and Tecupilco. Unfortunately, in recent years, Many of these slabs have either disappeared or have been destroyed by looters and treasure hunters, making their study and conservation increasingly difficult and problematic. During the month of May of 2021, a team composed of archaeologist Victor Osorio Gario, director of the archaeological site of San Miguel Ixtapan, and members of the ARCS Association, was able to locate in a ranch a few kilometers from the town of San Miguel Ixtapan the fragments of a huge basalt stone slab with geometric designs. This slab, which still survived remarkably intact and was photographed by American archaeologists Charles Wicke and Moti Bullington in 1959, was sadly broken up by treasure hunters in recent years. Our association is now engaged in an effort to remove the remaining fragments for safekeeping to the local site museum of San Miguel Ixtapan, where they can be recomposed restored and exhibited to the national and international public. Your contribution will be key to ensure that this important piece of our history is preserved for the benefit of future generations, as well as to support further research and exploration in one of the least studied and most endangered areas of Mesoamerica. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. 
thank you very much.